Hi guys, this is Dan from the Investment ABC and in this video I want to give my opinion whether we have already found the bottom in the US stock market and are in the beginning of another massive bull market or not. In my last videos I was explaining why I bought aggressively stocks when the Dow hit 19,000. The market was just way too oversold and panic was at its maximum. At the same time central banks injected trillions into the economy. If we look at the Fed's balance sheet, we can see that it increased by almost 50% after the eruption of the issue. What the expansion of the balance sheet means is that the Fed creates money and buys government bonds. Recently they said that they might also buy corporate bonds to stabilize the markets. To me it looks very scary when you think that from 2008 until the outbreak in 2020 in 12 years the Fed's balance sheet increased by 2 trillion but from February 2020 until now April 2020 they increased the balance sheet by the same amount in just 2 months. All the newly created money will be used right now by the governments to help out those who lost their jobs. The governments are handing out one-time payments of $1,200 or increase the unemployment money by $600 per week. At some point some of the printed money will find its way into the stock market again. The question is when? In the short term the market does not care about sky high unemployment or negative business outlooks. It only cares about liquidity which the Fed is providing at the moment. But in the long run, the earnings of the underlying company, the earnings, they do matter. When the company you have invested in doesn't make money because the customers can't afford their products anymore, the stock price will react to it. We made a low on the 23rd of March at around 18,200 points in the Dow and climbed up to currently now 23,200 points, which is more than 27%. In my previous videos, I said that I'm expecting a bounce to at least 23,000 in the Dow before we start to roll over again. But the velocity of this bounce tells me that there might still be some room left to the upside. My target before we fall further is the 25,000 to 26,000 range in the Dow. I'm expecting the Dow to have a short breather in the 22 to 23,000 um, range before we climb one last time higher and then roll over again to test the lows. I could be wrong and the market rolls over tomorrow again, no one knows for sure. But I'm very confident that we will retest the lows again and most likely break it to the downside. Bear markets don't end like this. A good example from the past which is comparable to the current crash is the crash of 1929 in my opinion. If we have a look at the chart we can see that after we hit a low in November 1929 we rallied more than 40% until April 1930 when we started to roll over slowly into the abyss. The low of November 1929 was revisited almost one year later in October 1930. And after we broke the lows of October 1929, we went down another 80% the next two years. What is noteworthy is that during these two years, there were several bear market rallies. The 1929 bear market must have felt like hell for the bulls, because every time the market rallied, the bulls hoped that this would be the end of the bear market, only to see their hopes get crushed again. I don't know if such a crash is possible with all the central bank interventions we have nowadays, but if the interventions fail or central banks slow down the intervention, I wouldn't be surprised to see a similar crash only because the amount of debt in the system is unsustainable and has to be reduced through default or inflation. What I can say is that we most likely will have more volatility in the markets than before the crash in February 2020. What I did so far is that I bought stocks that I liked when the Dow was um, at 19,000 and um, I won't add to my positions anymore and will wait until the Dow is at 25,000 range. If it does, 
I will buy put options again to secure my gains and profit when the markets retest the lows. And this is it for this video. I just wanted to give you guys a small update. I hope you liked it. Hit the like button, subscribe, share and comment guys. See you in the next one. Bye.